Hello, my name is Wispianko. This is a video update on the little micro radio from China. The item did work out really well so far. I did test it out now a couple times and the, the battery was going down too, so I did recharge it. Uh, you have on the side here the green battery indicator fully charged and then it goes in the red color blinking and the uh, halfway and all that so you see that you need to recharge and uh, we have on the bottom here that little hole there is actually the light as it is recharging that shows you uh, if it's still recharging as that is blinking and the uh, the un unfortunately a bit the light is on the bottom but the USB-C port is on top and not uh, the, the light should be a bit next to it but anyway peanuts so that did work out really well too the frequencies uh, work pretty well and uh, so far no problems with it now I did fix the knob here. Uh, first we have the uh, orange. I filled it up with orange paint there so we see it a bit better. And then we have now a uh, skateboard tape. In this case uh, uh, just a sandpaper, uh, textured paper on top of it. So I did put that all around glued it on and then now the turning of the knob even with that with that slight texturing is way way easier way nicer faster to do just to grip it lightly and turn it around than before uh, before it was just an aluminium knob uh, really slippery completely smooth there was no texturing at all so that did really help that is absolute amazing for that little little piece of uh, sandpaper how much you can uh, have an improvement just by simple uh, changes like that so that should be from the factory again for the price that is how that is but it's easy easy to do pretty much for everybody you just need to be a bit careful with the glue uh, if you use a liquid glue instead of a of a version that is like a sticker, uh, I just did not have anything else at hand right now, so I used a metal sandpaper uh, piece of that, and that worked out really well. So all in all, still working well and good. Now I got a bit feedback online that some people uh, say in Germany did not receive the item from the fast Ali and they did not get the money back either so again with China ordering directly by China that is always a bit uh, something if that works or not maybe I just had good luck it was the first time for me I did test it out and yeah had good luck that did work out uh, that uh, mentioned example I uh, did maybe get ordered by a different seller who knows uh, there are x different sellers so they sell them now at least in USA on eBay and Amazon as well uh, prices are slightly higher to really higher you always need to shop a bit for the best price of course and uh, there with the with the added safety it's maybe uh, safer and and easier for you to order it on those places instead directly from China that is up to decide what is better to pay I don't know four five six dollars more uh, get it from eBay USA so you are safe in case something goes wrong instead of a uh, the Chinese just laughing and uh, walking off with your money and that you don't get anything uh, it depends that is how that is our days other than that the radio got once dropped 
not too hard, not too too uh, from a from a higher distance, but uh, it survived. Nothing bad did happen to it, and uh, that works. And all that the speaker is pretty nice as well, and uh, you just can't leave it say like flat on the on the thing because the the on the table because we have the the speaker on the back side there it always needs to have a bit of angle and of course there is no no uh, stand molded into it so that is how that is it's a a bit uh, a item that has a bit uh, more quarks because of the size also i found out as i used the antenna the antenna best has to be connected with that part here all the way down somehow it gives me better reception with the uh, with the antenna like this or with that external antenna clamped on if we don't touch the part there we have more interference for whatever reason and yes the the part here is fully on so i always put that down there and get the best results that is just on this sample one of one your sample may be different but that is always as we get a radio or a new item anyhow as we test it out there are always some quarks to to uh, figure out to see what how it works how well it works in this situation how in the other situation and uh, yeah so far and that is part of the experience and and uh, the fun the enjoyment of the hobby and uh, yeah so far i like it i would buy that for sure again uh, maybe in a while as the item uh, is sold quite a bit and uh, the people got it and then then it's on sale i get me a second one just for testing and storage so we have a a backup sample that works like this one we see uh, last word they also now offer it in a uh, colors uh, i saw a minimum uh, the white one a green one a blue one and uh, i'm sure there are other 3d printed colors coming soon too now what would be interesting for me is a version in a glow in the dark uh, 3d print that actually glows pretty good that would be something fun you know and uh, yeah i think in orange i saw it too as well but uh, yeah th there is so many possible 3d colors and all that so hopefully one day they're gonna make it in a in a glow in the dark that would be something unique and uh, fun for sure so that much about the little micro radio update i'm still gonna make some more videos in time uh, hooked it up on on uh, different antennas and all that uh, we have a bit still better rougher weather because it's winter here in north georgia but uh, it's all gonna come